comedy album. We're at number nine, and it's what is the comedy album? You'd be amazed how many people have no idea. I'll say I have a comedy album, and they go, "Are you singing? Um, is this a photo album?" So most people don't realize that you can actually have a comedy spoken word album. And in fact, uh, comedy albums were some of the very first albums ever put out in the world. That was one of the first things was people talking, humorous shorts and stuff like that. You can actually even win a Grammy for a comedy album. Betty White won a Grammy, and I think Stephen Colbert did too in 2014. That's pretty awesome. So you can win a Grammy for them. And there's a couple of record labels that specialize in stand-up only. Stand-up records is the label that I am with, and they are a stand-up record or a comedy label. That's what they specialize in. A Special Thing is another one. Comedy Central has a record label. There's a couple of companies that just specialize in comedy recordings. If you go to the Amazon bestsellers list, as I've been doing obsessively checking, you can actually say, you can actually look and see comedy albums and they have really cool old ones and they have some brand new bestsellers. So if you've always wanted to see someone do stand up, it's great to have a comedy album because you can listen to them even though they're far away. A lot of times nowadays people will go ahead and record it as a special. So it'll have video as well as the audio that you can watch. So that's what you see on Netflix or HBO or any of that stuff. Those are comedy specials. If you don't have video accompanying it and you just have the audio, then that would be a comedy album. And to Mary's point, you can have them singing, you can have skits, they can be in a studio or they can be in front of a live audience. The album that I made is in front of a live audience at the Joke Joint in Lilydale and again recorded by Stand Up Records and people do do them though in studio. One of my favorite things I used to listen to when I was a little kid was Free to Be You and Me and it had little skits and it had songs and it was a really cool comedy LP. I had a big LP of it and I would listen to it. They actually still make LPs as well. Some of you guys that are vinyl enthusiasts, Stand Up Records has a ton of vinyl on the label. They actually just released uh, Fancy Ray McConey's new um, Stand Up Record, who's actually debut. It's actually a party album. And I think it comes in dark chocolate and milk chocolate. You can get two different flavors of LP, which is pretty cool and creative. So if you like art and you like arty cool things, you might want to check out uh, Stand Up Records website. They have a lot of really neat merch, pins, stickers, art that they've made. I actually bought LaShonda Lester's CD and it comes with a candle. Um, that's really cool. And I kind of find that silly candle. I talked about it twice on lives. So I never have it nearby. Anyway, it's really beautiful. So that's what a comedy album is. The reason why people do them is because you can sell them at shows. It helps you get recognition beyond your local area, which is pretty fantastic. You can sell them online and get digital downloads on Spotify, Pandora. You can find a whole bunch of new fans. They can find you then on YouTube or any other social media and start figuring out where to see you live, which is pretty great. And then, of course, you can sell them at shows. So a lot of times, if you get a digital download, um, the company, Apple, Amazon, I think they take like $3 out of it. And then depending on the deal with the record label you have, they take their cut out of it. So you don't make as much money as if you sell an actual physical CD at the show, which is awesome if you can do it. But you may have noticed we don't have audiences right now. I'm recording this in May of 2020, where we have COVID-19 and no stand-up audiences. Maybe you'll be watching this when all that stuff is gone. How cool will that be? Right now it feels like we don't have any audiences. So the only way you can sell it is online with digital music, which is pretty great too. So right now, um, my album is in pre-order at Amazon and iTunes, and then after it is released, you can get it on Spotify, Pandora, all the places that you would normally get digital content. So I would check it out. The other thing that I would tell you to do too, if you like comedy and you've listened to the comedy album and say you don't live anywhere near a comedian to be able to see them on the regular, but you really like their work, is check out to see if they've been a guest on a podcast or if they have a podcast. If you go to Spotify or any of the podcasts and search the name of the comedian that you like, all the episodes of anybody else's podcast they've been on will come up, or maybe perhaps they even have their own podcast and you can check them out there. One of my favorite podcasts is Middle of Somewhere with Cy Amundsen and Chad Daniels. Um, and you can check that out. It comes out every Monday, everywhere you absorb podcasts. It's pretty funny. Um, those two like to play together before stand-up shows. I've always kind of wished I could be a fly on the wall with their conversations because they're always cracking up. And now you can be. You can just listen to their podcast. There's a bunch of other podcasts of note. I think one of the biggest ones is Mark Maron and Joe Rogan has one and Bert Kreischer has one and a million other. Lori Kilmartin has one. There's a ton and ton and ton of podcasts out there that comedians do, which is a great thing to put in your ears if you're driving or working out, anything like that. Hope that answers your question of what a comedy album is. If you have any more questions about it, ask them in the comments. And I have eight more videos to go to tell you more about making a comedy album. This is Winnie Mayberry. Thanks. See ya.